I am Joanna Bergström, and together with Tosa Vedal Squad, Jason Alexander and Kasper Hornberg, we reviewed 20 years of virtual reality studies of object selection and manipulation. Designing experiments for evaluating interaction is tricky, even when the focus is in the basic interactions like object selection and manipulation. We have some standards and common practices for experiment tasks on object selection, such as this reciprocal task, disk transfer task, and pin transfer task from FITSI studies almost 70 years ago. And we have the ISO 9241 part nine standard for tapping tasks in 2D. However, in VR, these standards are harder to apply. There, the objects of interest are not limited to a two-dimensional display with its frames in front of us. And even if researchers have adapted the 2D ISO task into three-dimensional layouts, like we did in the spiral shape layout following Kian San Theodore's example, in VR, objects of interest can also be all around the space uh, and around ourselves and occluded by each other. To find out how should we evaluate object selection and manipulation in VR, we reviewed 20 years of studies on that. Our aim was to analyze the studies to form an empirical basis uh, of best practices in VR studies. We reviewed studies of object selection and manipulation in VR uh, published between 2000 and 2019 in the central conferences uh, and journals of the field. The 93 papers included in our sample consisted of 48 studies. And out of these 30 studies evaluated object selection and 18 uh, studies object manipulation. One of our key findings was that such a seemingly mundane decision uh, as laying out targets for selection task is indeed difficult uh, in the context of VR. The strategies uh, studies used included, uh, for instance, target pairs, like in the FITSI's uh, reciprocal tapping task, but placed like here, for instance, on frontal uh, and lateral axis in front of the uh, participant. Uh, they also included 2D layouts uh, following the ISO standard layout, uh, adapted, for instance, in a horizontal uh, form here on the left and a vertical form on the right. Uh, and the studies included 3D layouts with random uh, arrangements uh, of targets. The studies further vary in the use of distractor targets, uh, occluding targets, uh, say, shape and size of the targets, and many other factors uh, of the experiment design outside the task. Our aim uh, with this review was to help researchers, including ourselves, to design and conduct VR studies of object selection and manipulation. To begin moving uh, from our findings toward common practices in VR studies, we synthesize our key observations in 10 recommendations uh, for designing studies. And also uh, a checklist to support the use of the recommendations and making reproducible studies. We also discuss research directions for VR study methods. In particular, we find a need for tools that help to accumulate knowledge and findings of object selection and manipulation techniques. In our sample, 64.6% .6 of the studies use a completely new task rather than building on existing studies. And therefore comparison across those or meta-analysis of findings are currently difficult. Aiding tools for this would be, for instance, test suits and reference tasks. We hope to continue working on these first versions of the recommendations and the checklist on VR studies with you uh, at vrevaluation.github. Thank you.